Hi, we're back at Oldbury Hill Lakes in Surrey. I'm um, just going to show you the, the sack that we've got in the range now. We've had it out for a little while actually and we're the first one to put a, uh, a floating block on the sack. As you can see, more than adequate size for any carp that swims in the UK or in Europe. It's got a little pouch on the front here that you can see, one of which you can put your H block and your cord in and on the back uh, for your retaining cord for your sack, which is actually six meters on the sack, which gives you plenty of room, okay? Carrying handles on both sides. We've actually got a nice 20 in here for demonstration purposes. You notice the sack opens up on three sides, which means that when you've actually putting the fish in the sack and getting it out of it, it's nice and simple. You haven't actually got to maneuver it into a, into a closed panel. Sorry about that. You haven't actually got to maneuver it into a closed panel. You haven't actually got to maneuver it into a closed panel. What you've got is all three sides down, so you can lay him down and then zip up around him, which is exactly what you want to be doing. Okay, so now he's finished flapping. He's laid down on the side there. So now we can just zip up around him. All three sides, nice and simple like this. Got a clip here, attach the zip, which makes sure we don't have any accidents and the fish doesn't accidentally escape. Either end, either end you have a very nice strong D ring. He's a bit lively. On one end goes your H block. and the other end goes your sack cord. Okay, we're now going to move him off into the water um, and let you show them as he goes down, the H block releases. And of course, the beauty of it being that if for some inexplicable reason, the fish becomes detached from the cord, it remains on the H block and the H block has got a 25 meter cord on it. So it, it will always stay on the surface and you will be able to find the fish um, rather than obviously meet a, meet a horrible death. So it is the safest sack on the market. Okay, we're just going to lower the fish into the lake now. And if you watch the H block, as the fish goes down, the H block will unravel with it. And I'll just take the extension cord off to the bank and secure that nicely as well.